bed anyway. Um, am I interrupting something? I don't know. We're into some pretty heavy guy stuff here. I think we can make an exception. Isn't it past your bedtime, young lady? No, it isn't, young man. And you know I can't go right to sleep when I get home from the hospital. I decided I wanted to get some fresh air, and then I saw the fire. Uh, where, where's Dad? Well, I think he, uh, he's working late. Uh, uh, wait, wait, don't jump to conclusions. Come on now. Your father and I are trying very hard to work things out. Yeah, well, I'm sure you are. AJ, it is not your father's fault, you know. A relationship is a two-way street. And if something goes wrong, then the blame may rest on both people. I was just telling AJ that. Oh, really? Yeah, well, you see, we were discussing Karen and me and... and how pointless it seems to blame Jagger for our breakup. Well, it's real easy to point the finger at somebody else. But it always comes back to the two people that are in the relationship. I just hope your father and I have learned from our mistakes. So you really think there's a lesson to be learned here? There usually is. Well, you got any ideas? Well, maybe it's perseverance. <laughs> maybe it's not taking the other person for granted. All I know is that your father and I have a lot that's worth fighting for. And I've never backed down from a good fight in my life. I thought I'd find you here. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. What are you doing out here by yourself? The most amazing thing. Here, come here, sit down. I want you to listen. Listen very, very carefully. What am I supposed to be listening for? Nothing. That's the amazing thing. Absolutely nothing. There's no sound. There are no phones. There are no kids. There are no patients. This is bliss, Alan. It's all coming back to me. I remember we used to spend an awful lot of time out here. Oh. May I please stay here forever? You having a tough day? Well, ah, uh, they're all kind of tough lately. Well, then you know that. You had to work late, I guess. Actually, I finished working a couple of hours ago. Um, I looked for you, but they told me you were already gone. If I would have known you were here, I would have come earlier. But... Actually, I was in the mood for some of Ruby's chili. I went over there to get some, wound up having some macaroni and cheese. Oh, that's too bad. I would have loved to have joined you and had a little bit of comfort food. I didn't think that sort of thing would even appeal to you. Well, there. You see? You see? You think you know somebody, and after all these years, you think you know them inside and out. And you still have a lot to learn, even if it's just macaroni and cheese. 